Well, hey everyone, my name is Nathan Jones, and if you're new here, welcome. I like to talk about all things movies, specifically Blu-rays, and today, I mean, you see the thumbnail, I'm going to be talking about Blu-rays. I This is one of the biggest hauls that I've ever um, picked up, <laughs> um, but I got some stuff from a lot of really great sales lately. Uh, there's been a lot of sales going on. Uh, we just had an Indicator 24-hour flash sale that happened a few weeks back. We also have the Kino Lorber March Madness sale going on. We had a the last four for 44 sale from Warner Archive. So that's where all the stuff that I picked up from those sales are. But I know there's been other sales too. There's been a Target buy two, get one free. I know there's an upcoming halfway to Black Friday uh, sale from Vinegar Syndrome. I know there is an Arrow sale coming up. There's a lot of, a lot of really great things happening and all of us are paying uh, the price for it with our wallet. Um, but I just wanted to showcase you with you uh, my pickups from those sales that have just recently happened. And also I'll be getting rid of a few titles at the end of the video. So be sure to stick around uh, until that if you want to be, um, you know, participant in that giveaway. Uh, but anyway, uh, before we jump into that, I want to give my friend Daniel from Cobwebs a special shout out. Uh, Daniel actually just recently started a YouTube channel. He is had a successful podcast for uh, quite some time, which I've been a guest on, and Daniel's been on the channel as well. He's been in several videos. Uh, he's, a, he's a great guy. Um, so if you are familiar with him, Cobwebs, a gothic cinema podcast, is his podcast, but he just started a new channel, Cobwebs, dusting off classic cinema, where he is really just discussing cinema uh, pre-1970, or at least that's what I've g gathered so far. Um, he's only got a few uh, videos out so far, just ta talking about some of the sales and some recommendations for things, and it's, it's really good, and I'm glad that he's transitioned. Um, he's doing both worlds. He's doing podcasts, and he's doing a YouTube channel, and he seems to be doing very well. Uh, but I wanted to give him a shout out. So definitely in the description down below, go check him out. He's near 100 subscribers. Um, I, I love that he's has started this and he's doing a, a really, really great job. So give, make sure to, if you like my content, I'm sure you will like his, his content as well. So let's jump into Indicator. Let's talk about the 24 hour flash sale from Indicator. I picked up 10 titles. All right, so for Indicator, I picked up 10 titles. Uh, I already picked up most of the box sets that they have. I know they just uh, announced some uh, a killer Hammer Volume 6 box set, which I cannot wait for. But I definitely wanted to pick up some individual titles because I've, I've been sorely missing on a lot of their individual titles. So um, I, how I kind of structured how I picked up a lot of these things uh, is ma mainly almost like where you would look at a vinyl record where you would see the cover of it um, and you'd be like, wow, this is really interesting. Uh, or um, in, the, in the context of like, I, I've gotten to the point where I, I look at a specific director or an actor who's involved or like a, a company that's involved. So like the first thing I'm going to talk about is Amicus, which is, uh, I guess, uh, contemporary to Hammer films. Um, you know, I guess they were rivals. But I, I definitely looked at this. I'm like, okay, I know that Peter Cushing's in this, and I know it's from Amicus, and I, I recognize the director, Freddie Francis, and I'm, I'm excited. Um, you know, that's how, it's how I'm kind of jumping in uh, to that. So I don't know. This kind of gets into a side conversation about, like, how, how are you collecting things now? I've gotten to the point where a lot of my blind buys are definitely on, like, the cover, also the production, uh, the director, the writer, uh, maybe... Uh, it's the actors involved with it. it. It's it's exciting. But anyway, the movie that I'm talking about is Torture Garden. Um, I just mentioned Freddie Francis and, you know, Peter Cushing, Beverly Adams, Burgess Meredith, Jack uh, Palance. Uh, this is Torture Garden. Um, but yeah, this is spine number 23. And I got the standard edition from here. Uh, I got that. Uh, next are five films from an old box set that is now out of print. So I was I was sorely able to miss, I, I missed out on this one, but that's okay. Um, I've been in a Western mood and um, with spring and summer coming, I know that one of my Sunday mornings is going to be uh, ripe with like, just like I need to watch Western in the morning. Uh, but this is um, the Randolph Scott and Bud Bodeker collection. So there's five films here uh, from 1957 to 1960, spy number 62 through 66. So I'll just go through them real quick. The Tall T right there. That's the first film in the collection. We have Decision at Sundown. We also have uh, Buchanan Rides Alone. And then we have Ride Lonesome. And then finally, we have Comanche Station. And I'm super excited about these films. Um, these are all the standard editions, so I mixed out on the booklet and the box set, but that's okay. Um, I'm just excited to watch more Westerns. I I've been on a big kick with like Jimmy Stewart Westerns and also like Gregory Peck and maybe some of the John Wayne Westerns, but yeah, I'm excited to check out some more people uh, like Randolph Scott, who who's, I guess I've seen a few probably uh, of films, I'm sure, but um, this is like escaping me right now. 
Uh, so let's actually move on from there to uh, a film from 1946. This is spine number 103. Um, this uh, goes with the, like, I looked at all of the, like, the people who were involved with the film, and I was like, okay, I have to have this one. Uh, but I'm talking about Dragonwick right here. Um, this has an early Vincent Price role, uh, Gene Tierney. Uh, we have Walter Houston, Glenn Lanigan as well. It's written and directed by Joseph Mankiewicz, um, who uh, is, you know, very famous writer. And then also produced, and I'm going to butcher the hell out of this, but uh, by Ernst Lubitsch. Uh, Lubitsch, I can't, <laughs> I'm saying bad words. Uh, I can't say his name very well. But anyway, I'm excited to watch Dragonwick, and uh, yeah, it looks really enticing. Um, so... And now we're going to move on to some limited edition runs. And so I was able to pick up three limited edition um, things from Indicator that has a booklet with it. Um, but this is uh, from 1954, Spine Number 109, another film with Vincent Price. Uh, it's The Mad Magician. And I was actually um, put this in my purview uh, from Aaron Penn. So thank you, Aaron, uh, for putting this in my direction. Uh, I, I'm excited for this one. Uh, and, it's, and it's got uh, Mary uh, Murphy and Eva Gabor in it as well. And I, I've heard it's like 3D and has some Three Stooges special features. And I don't think I mentioned this, but Indicator has some of the best uh, special features out there. And it's just really fantastic that they put so much care and, and you know, uh, in the content and in the package and delivery of it. And they, yeah, anyway, I could go on about that for a long time. Uh, the next film that I picked up is Spy Number 165, another limited edition film from 1996. I'm talking about The Pillow Book. Right here, uh, directed by Peter Greenaway. Uh, it's got Ewan McGregor in it, Vivian Wu, Ken Ogata. Uh, I'm excited for this one. Uh, the cover alone looks enticing to me, um, but I've been watching, um, you know, a lot of films um, that, you know, I, I suppose there's a lot of things on my, on my, like my radar onto some films where like I want to watch more Ewan McGregor. And so the Pill Book definitely um, fit that role. And then the last film that I picked up um, from Indicator is another Amicus film. It's a limited edition, Spine Number 178 from 1974, uh, also with Peter Cushing in it, The Beast Must Die, also starring Calvin Lockhart. I'm excited for this one. This is a werewolf movie, and every time I was on the Indicator site, uh, previously when I was buying box sets or pre-ordering something from them, this always caught my eye. So I'm definitely happy to own this now. So those are my pickups from the Indicator 24 hour flash sale. What did you pick up? Did you were able to pick up anything? Most of those are uh, Region B, films. Uh, some of them are all region, um, but you know, that's just kind of, uh, if you have a region free player, uh, you can get some of these titles. I think some of them are probably still on sale. They sometimes have a three for 33 pound sale, um, but you know, shipping is a thing too. Um, but yeah, I love Indicator and I can't wait to get more things from them. So let's actually move on from there to Warner Archive where I picked up 23 titles. Oh. Okay, 23 titles. So I'm going to be quick about this, and I'm not going to like really elaborate much on this, but I knew this was the last 4 for 24, uh, 4 for 44 sale, and I definitely wanted uh, to get a, a variety of films and also uh, f films that I'm interested in uh, and I probably will be interested in in the future. So the first one I have right here is a, a film with Peter O'Toole um, uh, from 1982, and actually I believe... Daniel on Cobwebs actually just recently had this uh, discussion with uh, two great hosts, um, and he just talked, um, I think, with Matt, uh, Matt Bledsoe and Anthony King about this, and so I was excited uh, to hear this recommendation. It's my favorite year, and so I'm excited for this one right here. Uh, next is a film from 1936. It is a screwball comedy uh, with an insane cast. Uh, it's the libel. It's the libeled it's libeled lady. I almost said the libeled lady. Uh, Spencer Tracy, Myrna Loy, William Powell, uh, Gene Harlow is in it. Um, I'm excited for it. Um, I love those those actors right there. And speaking of Myrna Loy and William Powell, uh, I got After the Thin Man, which is another um, a Thin Man film. I've only seen the first Thin Man, and I liked it a lot. So I'm excited for this one uh, as well. And uh, next is another film um, from the, around that time period, 1940. Um, this is, the, like I think, the original uh, of this film from the um, the adaptation, Pride and Prejudice, right here. I got this with Laurence Olivier and Greer Garson. Excited for this one. I still haven't even seen. Um, I think it's Mark Strong who did it. Uh, I'm <laughs> I'm probably no, that's the actor. Um, I can't think of it, but uh, the Keira Knightley version of Pride and Prejudice. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I still haven't seen that version. Uh, and then uh, now we're moving on to another 1940 film. I know my friend Daniel really loves this movie, and he's like just 
uh, talks about Errol Flynn a lot, um, but I needed to get this one because I wanted a swashbuckler. From 1940, I got the Seahawk. Uh, I'm excited for this one as well. It's got Claude Rains in it as well, so that's going to be fun. Um, now we're going to move on to more films that have no particular theme. So we'll just go from here um, to... I got Sunday in New York, uh, a pretty cool like sex comedy that I heard uh, a lot about, which looks really fun. I got another werewolf movie. I got Wolfen, and I know this was like made in the year... Uh, 81, which was like a big werewolf movie, uh, year, movie year. And so this is one of the ones that I haven't seen um, from that year, and I'm excited for it. Uh, now we have a creature feature, and I, I, I wanted to get a several of these, so you'll see some of those as I'm talking about them. But I got um, this film uh, that came out in 1958. I got The Giant Behemoth. I'm excited for this one. Um, yeah, like you know, I was saying earlier about with like Western kicks. Like I, I want some like Harryhausen uh, type films uh, in my life, just randomly, you know, throughout. I, I just love the creativity with them, and big monster films like kaiju films. Uh, next is a a, re a film that I've been wanting to watch for a long time, but I'm I'm glad that it's out um, from Warner Archive, and it's got uh, Robert Mitchum. And I'll probably just wait for the holiday season to watch it, even though I know it's not super holiday related. Maybe. Anyway, Holiday Affair um, with Robert Mitchum, Janet Leigh, and uh, Wendell Corey. I'm super excited for this one. Uh, this one came out in 1949. And I, I want to, don't quote me, but I want to say this was the movie that Robert Mitchum was like, like he was geared to make because he got like in trouble with for marijuana and stuff. So um, anyway, I'm excited for that one. Uh, next is a film that has Rod Taylor, um, Yvette uh, Mimou. I probably said that in, very incorrectly. Uh, and Jim Brown, uh, Dark of the Sun. This is another film that Daniel and company talked about, and I was just like, yeah, I got to get this. Also, um, it has uh, some special features on here. Um, if just the discs, um, Brian Sauer, uh, he does a commentary in this, and that's really, really cool, and I love that. Um, so, yeah, Brian, shout out to you. You do great stuff. Just the discs, check them out if you haven't seen uh, his content. Um, it's just phenomenal, honestly, um, and uh, I love his podcast as well. Uh, next, we have five more films. <laughs> All right, and the next film uh, is from 1941. It's got Edward G. Robinson in it, uh, Ida Lupino, and John Garfield in Jack London's The Sea Wolf. This looks like a fun film. Um, I love uh, that cast, so uh, definitely wanted to do that. And also, yeah, these 30s and 40s poster, movie posters are definitely really enticing to watch and look for. Uh, after that, I also got another uh, film very much like The Holiday Affair in that sense. Uh, from 1940, I got The Shop Around the Corner, which I'm really excited about as well. I still haven't seen this movie, so there are some there are some Christmas movies uh, that I still haven't seen, and uh, that's okay. We are all on our journey. And next is a movie that I've been wanting to watch for a long time, and I've always almost picked this up every single time there was a Warner Archive sale, but I didn't. From 1949, I got Gun Crazy. So, um, yeah, this is a, a really fun gun noir, or a, no a film noir um, that I've heard uh, really good things about. Super excited about that one. And then I also got this one because it's a screwball comedy and I love the actors in this. Um, I got Freebie and the Bean, which has James Caan and Alan Arkin in it. And I love I love Alan Arkin a lot and that was kind of the sell alone, but I'm like, oh yeah, I, if James Caan's in it as well and it's a slapstick comedy, then I'm gonna watch it. Uh, it looks a lot like a lot of fun. Uh, next is a film that is like William Castle meets Disney. Is That's what I've been. it's been described as. Um, Two on a guillotine. Uh, I'm excited for this one. Uh, this one came out in 1964, in Notice 1965, um, and uh, yeah, this looks like a lot of fun. And let's look at some other films here. Almost done with this one. Okay, uh, next is an 80s action film that I, I've, I, I'm like, I just need something stupid to turn my mind off to. Um, and this is from 1988, so late 80s. I, I wanted to get Carl Weathers in Action Jackson. I've heard a lot of fun things about this movie, um, and I, I'm sure it's just way over the top, and I, I, I'm going to love that. After that, I got another Amicus film. Um, this one has a, a, an in, insane cast. Donald Pleasance. Um, we have Kyrie Don Porter, uh, David Warner, Peter Cushing, uh, Margaret Layton, uh, Diana Doors, uh, Ian Bannon, Ian Carmichael. Uh, and this is From Beyond the Grave. I'm excited about this one. Um, yeah, more amicus films to uh, fill my amicus and hammer needs. Uh, now we're going to talk about another creature feature, The Valley of Guanji, which I think uh, this is, the work is done by Ray Harryhausen, so that was a sell alone for me. I wanted to get all the Harryhausen films. 
Uh, after that, um, I picked up uh, this classic, which is still a film that I haven't seen, which I'm super excited about, Gaslight, uh, with Joseph Cotton, uh, Ingrid Bergman, and Charles Boyer. So this classic film from 1940. And then we have another like kind of slapstick uh, comedy, uh, just kind of just all, all over the top. Uh, I've been wanting to watch this one for a while. I've always seen the, the DVD, I remember, when I was growing up. Uh, but The Man With Two Brains... Uh, I got to see the Steve Martin um, crazy, crazy film right here, um, directed by Carl Reiner uh, from 1983. I'm said 60s. I'm like, no, Steve Martin wasn't around then. We're almost done with Warner Archive. Uh, three more films to talk about. Uh, next is, uh, I guess, an epic film that I wanted to pick up. And I did not know that this was uh, directed um, by Sergio Leone, but it is. I, and I, I, got, I knew that after the fact. But The Colossus of Rhodes. Uh, I'm super excited about this one. It looks like a really cool Technicolor kind of epic film here. Um, after that, uh, I got The Fearless Vampire Killers. And this is another person, like, I didn't know that Roman Polanski directed this movie. So this one looks like fun. Um, it looks look, looks a little zany as well. Um, but yeah, you know, I've been into some horror films. And then the last film that I picked up um, is from 1953. It's the original House of Wax right here. And I know Vincent Price is involved with this. Um, among a, a great cast. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for this one. This is in 3D as well. So that was my pickups from Warner Archive. So what about you? Did you what did you pick up from this uh, last 4 for 40? So 4 for 44 sale. Uh, I'm excited to know. Tell me in the comment section down below. All right, last but certainly not least, I'm going to talk about the March Madness Kino Lorber sale. And I actually picked up, um, mm, I got six six titles. The first is a box set. Um, I've been wanting to get this um, ever since uh, Rob from the Movie Vault talked about it. Uh, the Carol Lombard Collection right here. Um, I've been wanting to watch this one for a long time. I've been wanting to watch more of her films because uh, I've liked what I've seen with her in it and I definitely wanted to pick this up and I, I love the cover and I love the, the designs that Kina Lorber likes to put out for, the, for these films. But yeah, this thing has Fast and Loose, The Man of the World, and No Man of Her Own. Um, all the pre-code 1930s classics. Uh, next is a film, because I've been reading some Agatha Christie films, or uh, books, uh, I definitely wanted to get some adaptations, and this one looks like fun, because it has like a crazy all-star cast, but it's Agatha Christie's Death on the Nile, uh, and so yeah, it has an, an insane cast here, um, from a lot of people like Betty Davis, uh, David Nivian, George Kennedy, Maggie Smith, Mia Farrow, just to name a few people in this, in this movie. Um, and then I, you know, just because I'm continuing down um, this this horror route uh, of Amicus and and um, of Hammer and you know more Peter Ke Peter Cushing uh, and Christopher Lee films, I had to get um, Boris Karloff and Christopher Lee in the Crimson Cult because that looks super in in enticing. And this is from 1968. Looks like a hell of a time. Um, this one looks like fun. Uh, <laughs> It's got uh, John Carradine, who, you know, uh, likes to play Dracula. Um, but uh, we have Chuck uh, Courtney and Melinda Plowman in Billy the Kid vs. Dracula. This one looks like a lot of fun and like a, like a Western horror mashup. It's probably comedic as well. Uh, but that looks like a lot of fun. And speaking of fun, uh, this one looks like an awesome action film with probably some comedy. I don't know. Uh, it, just, it just seems that way. Uh, don't quote me on this. But I got Revenge of the Ninja, which is from 1983. Super excited about this movie. It's probably going to be a kick-ass movie. Um, that's for sure. And the last film that I want to talk about is another collaboration between Cushing, uh, Lee, uh, and then also this time with Vincent Price, and that's Scream and Scream Again. That looks like a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, that's what I picked up from the Kino Lorber March Madness sale. What did you pick up? Uh, all right, so that was aptly timed. My battery died right as I was trying to uh, transition into my films that I will be giving away. So uh, those are my hauls uh, for uh, the Indicator sale, for the Kino Lorber March Madness sale, and for the Warner Archive 4 for 44 sale. Were you able to pick up anything? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now let's move on to, I have 15 titles that I'll be getting rid of. Um, so uh, I will be choosing two of you in the comment section. If you're, any of you are curious or interested, uh, please comment down below and uh, then reach me out. Uh, on Instagram or Twitter once I decide who the winner is through a random number generator I'll be doing a video later on where I'll be uh, saying the giveaway winners And so let's uh, look at the titles that you can choose from So uh, what I'd like you to do is just pick the title that you're interested in So just you know say that I'm interested in and then you know say the title that you want And so that's where 
I'll kind of go uh, about this, how I'll do it. So the first film that I'm talking about uh, is Amoros Peros, uh, and this is a new recently Criterion edition. I would like to pick up that. So Amoros Peros right here. I'm not going to talk about each one anyway. Uh, the Thing, this is like the prequel to um, the John Carpenter film, The Thing. So I have that that I'm getting rid of. I have Fantastic Mr. Fox, the normal digital, uh, you know, the Blu-ray MRA. I just recently, you know, upgraded this. So Fantastic Mr. Fox. Uh, another film that I just recently updated, The Apartment. So if any of you are interested in The Apartment, please comment down below. I have The Interview right here. Fun film. From, fun film about North Korea right there. Uh, I also have uh, Johnny Knoxville in The Ringer. So this is a, a, an old film of, of mine that I, I enjoyed back growing up. The Ringer. Shazam. Uh, really fun DC film. Um, I, you know, I'm going to just be getting rid of it, but uh, I'm, I'm excited uh, that somebody's going to get this potentially. Shazam. A lot of fun, actually. Uh, Molly's Game. Um, good film by Aaron Sorkin right here. Um, so yeah, Molly's Game. I'm also getting rid of Wild Horses. Nice little western here. Another film that I am getting rid of that I recently watched that I, I did enjoy, but I don't know how many times I'll rewatch it. I know it's on Shutter. I think The Dark and the Wicked right here, um, a good film right there, a little good, a good horror film. Um, we also have Traffic, which I'd like to eventually upgrade from this version to Criterion. I also have Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, a good one-time watch for me, but um, yeah, it's another movie I'm getting rid of. Uh, Matchstick Men, another fun, uh, fun kind of film with Sam Rockwell in it and Nicolas Cage. I have Leviathan. It's a Russian film. Um, it's, a, it's a really good uh, kind of crime drama. And then we have The Kid with Ethan Hawke and uh, Dane DeHaan. And so, yeah, those are the films that I'm going to be getting rid of. So if any of you are interested in any of those films, please comment down below. Um, I would love um, to you know get in contact with you and then send them your way. Um, so thank you so much again for watching this video. Um, comment down below, um, you know, you know, interact and, uh, I'll definitely do my best to interact with you. And so thank you so much for watching. Give it a like, share, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. I'm not Jones and around.